Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your photos so that they're ready to go onto your website. And we're going to be using a free online editor to do this. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is our, our demo site that we're going to be working with, and I'm just going to scroll kind of slowly down. You can see there's images and text and buttons and all that kind of stuff. And here's where we're going to um, update our images. So um, it's spring, winter is over, and so we're going to update these two photos here, and we're going to make them um, hiking photos instead of skiing and snowshoeing. So what I'd like to do is if you want to make sure that the images that you're going to replace these with match the layout and the the right resolution and all that it's best to actually take these images and there's an easy way to do that and I showed one video I showed you three different ways to find this out but I'm actually just gonna grab these videos I'm gonna open this right click open it in a new tab and I open it in a new tab because I want to see the original image not the uh, the cropped version because sometimes websites will take the original and crop it and everything would be square but I want to see this original image I'm gonna take this original image and I'm gonna save it I'm just going to put it in my images folder for this. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to right click. I'm going to open in a new tab so I get the original image. And then I'm going to save it. All right. So now I have both of these image images on my hard drive. And here I'll show you what they look like in the folder. So there they are. And if I scroll over them, I'm going to know their exact dimensions and I also get their file size. So this, this is what I'm shooting for. My images that replace these should be these dimensions and hopefully file sizes of equally or smaller size. All right, so uh, let's see. We're actually in the same folder of the replacement images. These are stock photos. So when I scroll over, I'm gonna use this one here. You can see this is huge. That's over 5,000 pixels wide at 10 megabytes. And this one here is the other one I'm going to use. Another 14 megabytes, also almost 6,000 pixels wide. These are not web-optimized images. These would choke your site, right? They would slow it down, take forever to load. Um, and it, they're not even the right dimensions, right? These are um, 16 by 9, basically, is the, the aspect ratio that these are. And th this one's almost square. So th they're not going to work, but we want them to work. So first we're going to start with, um, we're going to replace this snow one, and we're going to replace it with this hiking one here. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the online image editor that we're going to be using is called Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R at P-I-X-L-R dot com. And we want to use their uh, Pixlr E, which is their editor. The X is, um, it's the fast one. It's the express one, and it doesn't have all the tools. So we're going to go to Pixlr E. And we come to this area here and we're going to upload, we're going to open an image. So we're going to upload an image. And uh, what one did I say I was going to use? The hikers. I'm going to put the hikers in here. Now this is 5,000 pixels wide. And you're going to find out real quick. They don't want it that big, right? Maximum size to upload is 3840. We're going to do um, the full HD 19 by 20, uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 or 1280p. Um, so, so now They've already done some optimization. They've taken it from over 5,000. This image size here, over here, image, image size, you're going to see it's 1920 by 1280. That's the uh, ad, most common size of a screen um, for a computer. That's a very common aspect ratio to use. So, okay, so we're going to, we know it's that size. Now, we want to make this, um, well, let's open that up. Where'd that go? Let me get some more landscape here. Um, we're going to make it this big, and this is 379 by 218, 379 by 218, 379 by 218. I know I'm going to forget that. 379. So the way I do that, there's a lot of ways to use this, but I find that the easiest way is you're going to crop this. And that crop tool is right here. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to use the um, aspect ratio to do the crop. And we're going to tell the aspect ratio that this is 379 by 218. All right, you see how it kind of locks it in there? And it doesn't know if this is pixels or inches or feet. It just knows that it's 379 by 218, and it's going to lock that aspect ratio in there. So if I go like this, you see I can't make this square. So that is the same 
aspect ratio the same width and length as this one here, 379, 379 by 218. So this makes our job really easy because now, you know, I can adjust my crop. Do I want them like that? I think I, um, I'm going to do, actually, I like that. I'm going to keep him there. Whoops, not that small. And let's move it. Yeah, I like that. That's my crop. I'm going to apply this, right? But since it's a crop and it's only an aspect ratio, that didn't change the the. The size is not 379. In fact, let's see what the image size is. Image size. So it's still 1300 pixels wide. But since we've cropped it at the exact dimensions that we want, we can change this to 379. And look at that. It's 379 by 218 because it locks that in. So this is the image size we want. We apply that. And that is ready to go on our site. So I'm just going to save it. File save i'm going to change the quality here to medium i think the medium jpeg quality is good for um for the web and there it is now as some of you may know when i optimize an image i'd like to make sure i rename it i give it a suffix uh hash uh, uh, this uh, dash and i'll just put web so this is web optimized cool now if we go in that folder you'll see that that web optimized image is 379 by 218 and it's only 11 kilobytes and we're replacing that we're using that and we're replacing this one here which is 279 by 218 379 by 218 and that's 21 kilobytes so that's the perfect image to do that with i'm going to do the same thing i'm not going to um, narrate in full detail um, for the second image so again we're going to upload another image so File, new, over here, open image. And we are um, going to open, I'm going to do this one here. And I'm going to use, that's going to replace this. And this one is 378, it's almost square, 378 at 385. 378 at 385. So boom, 378, that's okay. 378, 378. And I'm going to crop it. Ratio. 378 at 385. And that's sh the aspect ratio. Again, that's not the um, s image size. It's just the aspect ratio. And I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. It's a nice little sunrise. And I'm going to move them. Perfect. I like that. I'm going to apply that. And now I'm going to go into the image, image size. And what is that 378, 385? See how it kind of locks together. I'm going to apply that, and now it's resized. And now I'm going to save it. Medium download and rename hyphen web hyphen web and done. So now when we go into this folder. We have the two images that are going to replace them. Here's the, um, the hikers that's going to be replacing the snow one here. And here's this one. This is uh, 378 by 385. It's 18 kilobytes. It's replacing this one, which is 378 by 385, and that was 43 kilobytes. So that online editor actually made them even smaller file size. So in the next video, I'll show you how to add these to your site. But these images, when they go on the site, they're not going to make it load fast, uh, slower. It's not going to, uh, uh, it's not going to affect the the layout in any way, because um, they're just exact replicas, basically, but different images of what's already on there. All right. So, I hope that helps you out. Uh, again, that is Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. Very simple to, to use. It's free. Um, so just go there and uh, start. It, it does a great job of optimizing those images and getting them ready for your website. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks.